skims here www.harrysmooth.com I want to play a game it's called driving and texting this is a very very easy game you drive you text you die morning everybody the dude from skims here www.harrysmooth.com saw remember that creepy ass movie I want to play a game. Well, that's what you're doing, ladies and gentlemen. You're playing a game when you text and you drive. This is getting to, to epidemic proportions here in the United States. And most of it is involving teens, 20 years old and under. And people are dying. People are, every day in the news, you're seeing mangled pieces of metal on the side of the road. The end result of some idiot some self-absorbed idiot texting while driving while operating a 6,000 pound motor vehicle and I for one am sick and tired of it it's unbelievable watching the ABC nightly news last night the National Transportation Safety Board is demanding a nationwide ban on driver use of personal electronic devices they want a complete and total ban on using any, and I mean any, personal electronic devices while operating a motor vehicle. Now I know most of you are going to say, oh, using the phone's not so bad and I'm just going to be on it for a minute. Bullshit! It's you that are causing these accidents. Bullshit! This will apply to everyone. Cell phones, texting, iPods, MP3 players, any electronic distraction will be covered. And the car manufacturers are going to be implementing cell phone blockers in all of their new cars, which effectively disables your car's cell phone when your car goes into gear. Period. You want to talk? You want to text? Put the motherfucker in park. U.S. drivers will not be able to send text messages or use mobile phones, even with headsets or speakers, under a recommendation Tuesday by the National Transportation Safety Board aimed at preventing distracted driving crashes, Bloomberg reported. Too many people are texting, talking, and driving at the same time, NTSB Chairman Deborah Harzman said at the hearing in Washington. It's time to put a stop to the distractions. No calls, no texts, no update is worth a human life. Systems built into cars like General Motors Company, OnStar, and Global Positioning Systems would not be affected by the ban. The independent agency recommends safety improvements for U.S. agencies to act upon. It can't implement them itself, Donald Carroll, the NTSB's Director of Highway Safety, said. The agency had been recommending collision warning systems since the mid-1990s, Bloomberg reported. The NTSB strengthened its anti-phone stance after completing its investigation into an August 2010 crash in Gray Summit, Montana, in which a 19-year-old GMC Sierra pickup driver sent or received 11 text messages in 13 minutes before plowing into the back of a tractor trailer, killing everyone. Now let's look at some of the facts of texts and wrecks. Fact number one, five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting. When traveling at 55 miles an hour, that's enough time to cover the length of a football field. A texting driver is 23 more times more likely to get into a crash than a non-texting driver. Of those killed in distracted driving related crashes, 995 involved reports of a cell phone as a distraction. 18% of the fatalities in distraction related crashes. Using a cell phone while driving, whether it's handheld or hands-free, delays a driver's reactions as much as having a blood alcohol concentration of the legal limit. 20% of injury crashes in 2009 involved reports of distracted driving. In 2009, 5,474 people were killed in U.S. roadways and an estimated additional 448,000 were injured in motor vehicle crashes that were reported to have involved distracted driving. 
Drivers who use handheld vehicles are four times as likely to get into crashes serious enough to injure themselves. 49% of drivers with cell phones under the age of 35 send or read text messages while driving. 60% of drivers use cell phones while driving. 57% of drivers rate themselves as better than average drivers. <laughs> An online survey of 1,999 teens ages 16 to 19 found that 86% had driven while distracted, even though 84% know it's dangerous. 34% of teens who drive while distracted simply say they're used to multitasking. 30 <laughs> can't walk and chew bubblegum, most of them. 32% of teens who drive while distracted don't think anything bad will happen to them. 22% of teens who drive while distracted say it makes driving less boring. Ooh. 21% of teens who drive while distracted say they're used to being connected to people at all times. 35% of teens who drive while distracted don't think they'll get hurt. 20% of teens who share vehicles had texted while driving compared to 35% who own their own cars. 23 is the average number of texts per month that teens who text and drive admit to sending. That's bullshit. These motherfuckers are sending 23 texts in 20 minutes. Or in 20 seconds. 77% of young dr adult drivers are very or somewhat confident that they can safely text while driving. 77% think they can do it and, oh, never mind. Oh. 55% of young adult drivers agree it's easy to text and pay attention to driving. 55% of young adult drivers agree that it's easy to text and pay attention to driving at the same time. 85% of respondents who text while driving agree that texting while driving is a problem, and 89% recognize that the behavior reduces reaction time. Brain power used while driving decreases by 40% when a driver listens to conversation or music. 49% of adults say they have, pass they have been passengers in a car when the driver was sending or reading text messages on their cell phones. 44% of adults say they have been passengers of drivers who use cell phones in a way that put themselves or others in danger. 36% of teens say they have been involved in a near crash because of their own or someone else's distracted driving. While over 90% of teen drivers say they don't drink and drive, 9 out of 10 say they've seen passengers distracting the driver or drivers with cell phones. Distracted driving is the number one killer of American teens. Alcohol-related accidents among teens have dropped, but teenage traffic fatalities have remained unchanged because distracted driving is on the rise. 59% of all traffic fatalities involving distracted driving is from teens 20 and under. 67% of that are female. About half the drivers, 16 to 24, said they had texted while driving compared with 22% of drivers 35 to 44. And finally, in a study over 18 months, college students using a sophisticated driving simulator showed an eight times greater crash risk than with, when texting than when not texting. So there you have it. The proof is in the pudding. Stop the fucking texting. Stop the distracted driving. You know, I don't give a shit about your life, but I damn sure give a fuck about mine and my family and my friends. Just because you have to text Lucy, don't put me and my family at risk, you stupid motherfucker. Get off the phone. The dude from Skims. I'm out.